Hi guys, I hope and pray that you're all doing as well as you can be at the current time. Welcome to the fourth lift talky bit of our half term. We're continuing to look at some of my heroes from the Old Testament, and this week we're looking at a man called Daniel. Now, the story we're going to be looking at is from Daniel 6, so if you want to go and check it out later on, that's where you need to go and look. Uh, but before we get into today's actual talky bit, I wanted to give you a bit of background about Daniel. Now, at this point, Daniel is an old man. He's been in Babylon for many, many years, but he remains faithful to God. The city has been recently conquered by the Babylonians' major enemies, uh, the Persians, and the new king Darius is as impressed by Daniel's wisdom as the old kings of Babylon had been. Now, once again, this is a story about being true to God, even when everyone else is against you. Between them, Daniel and his mates have faced threats from dismemberment, being burned alive, and now they face being eaten by lions. Yet they have steadfastly continued to trust in God alone. Now, the new king Darius needed lots of help managing his new kingdom, and he planned to give wise Daniel the top job. He was going to be boss over everyone else apart from the king. Now, the other important people in the kingdom were not impressed about this, because they were already really, really jealous of Daniel. And so they came up with a plot to get rid of him. They persuaded King Darius to pass an unbreakable new law. For the next 30 days, it's a crime to pray to anyone except the king. Anyone caught praying will be thrown into the lion's den by order of the king. Now, Daniel heard about this new law, and he was sad, and he was unimpressed. But what do you think he did for the next 30 days? That's right, Daniel kept on praying to God. Three times a day he went home, knelt down, faced towards Jerusalem, and prayed out loud. When Daniel's enemies found this out, they were overjoyed. We've got him! They, they ran and they told the king, He's Daniel, he's broken your new law. He deserved to be thrown into the lion's den. They say with jubilant grins and evil twisting of moustaches and rubbing of hands together and all other kinds of evil things that people do. King Darius, on the other hand, was absolutely heartbroken. He was really, really sad. He didn't want to have Daniel killed. He tried his best to save Daniel, but his new law was unbreakable. That evening, the guards took Daniel to the lion's den and the king actually met him there and he said to Daniel, may your God save you. And you know what? He really, really meant it. King Darius couldn't eat dinner that night, he couldn't go to sleep, he couldn't do anything. All night all he could do was think about Daniel in the den with those hungry, hungry lions. The next morning, the king went nervously down to the lion's den and called out, Daniel, has your God saved you? Yes, shouted Daniel. He sent an angel to save me from the lions. The king was delighted and he helped Daniel out of the den. Then he made a new decree. Everyone in my kingdom should worship Daniel's God. He's the best, by order of the king. That's this week's talky bit, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions, if you've got any comments, if you can spot where Daredevil is this week, then post it in the comment section below. Um, if you like it, if you've liked today's story, then don't forget to like it. Um, please do subscribe, and that way, if uh, well, as and when I post new stuff online, uh, you'll get a message to say that it's up and running. Um, Lift Talky Bits are going to be published on YouTube 
every Sunday afternoon, roughly about two o'clock ish. Um, so, thanks for listening. If indeed you still are. God bless, guys. <laughs>